And it's not a surprise if you think about it, because that's exactly what plants do. The first step in the photosynthetic process is light impinges on the leaves of the plant. And what it does is effectively, it takes water and separates the water into OH minus and H plus. That's just what we found. You see, so there's precedent for what we found. It's not really so um, arcane uh, at all. It's, um, it's actually rather, rather common in, in nature. So we, we found it's light. And of course, after the student did his experiments, we, we did a lot of uh, additional experiments to check out what wavelengths are important. And we found that red is important, but infrared, uh, that is beyond wavelength, slightly longer than red, is profoundly able to build the exclusion zone. So the answer, at least one source of energy, is light. So it means if, if this is working within our bodies, it means that in some sense we act like plants. We wouldn't, we wouldn't think so, uh, but, you know, we, we, we have more in common with plants than we, we might think. Light is important. Infrared light particularly is important. And red light. And it's been used therapeutically um, and now uh, fairly widely. Red light therapy and infrared light therapy. But mostly it's used in a way that many of the people who use it don't really understand why it works as well as it works for so many syndromes.